Honoree for the degree of Doctoratus in Literis is Mary Bergen. The citation will be read by Professor Michael Doherty. I can barely contain my excitement. Actually, today I've been surrounded by all my musical heroes, uh, masters of all the well worn vinyl at home, um, Deputy President. Honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, Alas Uchterein, Ian Especial to Agini Ushla, Mary Bergen. Mary Bergen is recognised as Ireland's greatest living tin whistle player and one of its greatest living musicians. The tin whistle, an ad dog, the most egalitarian and timeless instrument of the Irish traditional music repertoire, surely. Lunaha fui lahar er in spidel kund in the galleve, is as in chankel kund a clear the merry oguhus. To steal hanueleki, steal simply, snaste, bacht, alierian, revashtrukt, hecknul. Mary's playing style is distinctive for its technical virtuosity, its precision its elegant simplicity. She's originally from Shank Hill in County Dublin, and she was born into a musical family and began playing at an early age, winning many awards in Eructus and Fla Choil competitions. Her mother played classical and traditional fiddle, and her father played the melodeon. Musicians like Paddy Hill, Mrs. Crotty, and Mrs. Harrington were regular visit visitors to the Bergen home. And despite attempts to teach her the piano and the violin, Mary took to the Clarksy whistle, picking up tunes by ear. Family holidays spent in Milltown Malbay, County Clare, and the Ring Gaeltacht in County Waterford were a deep source of musical inspiration for her. It was in the Dacia that she first heard the Shannos singing of Nicholas Tobin, and in Milltown Malby, she played with the legendary Willie Clancy and other traditional musicians. Captivated by the playing of the whistle, fiddles and pipes, she listened carefully to all instruments and the special rhythms of their musical masters. Mary began playing at sessions in Black Rock, County Dublin, where she met the blind whistler Terry Horan. Venturing further into the city centre brought her to the Pipers Club in Thomas Street, the growing folk boom in the 1970s and the expansion of cultus culturieren led to cultus tours of Britain and the US. Since then, Mary has played all over the world, both as a solo performer and her earlier days with groups such as the Green Linnet Cayley Band, Culturey Lion, and of course, the Danon. While Fadagastain holds its place as a classic in traditional music, the album's 1992 follow-up, Fadagastein Ado, was likewise regarded as exceptional and unequal in its musical mastery. Mary is a founding member of the group Dordan, which of course is the Irish for a buzzing or a humming of bees, whose distinctive mix of traditional Irish and European Baroque music achieved wide acclaim, receiving the National Entertainment Award for Traditional Music in 1993, Notable recordings of Dordan include Irish Traditional and Baroque Music, 1991, Jigs to the Moon, 94, The Night Before, A Celtic Christmas, 97, and Celtic Ire, 1999. In the year 2000, Mary won the prestigious T.G. Cahar, 
Traditional Musician of the Year Award. She's an inspirational teacher of the tin whistle. Mary's Irish Tin Whistle tutorial series was described by the late Paddy Maloney of the Chieftains as pure genius. In her teaching, the many facets that give traditional music its distinctiveness are explored and interpreted. Mary pays attention to what she refers to as the internal rhythm of the music, the essence of the music, the breathing, almost like a meditation. Avoiding overemphasis on technicality, she searches with her students for the feeling, the heart and soul of the music, Cri agus anam an kjoil, but also for the fun and the enjoyment of the music and the kolluadar, the joyous company that surrounds a traditional music session is never far away. Mary Bergen's contribution to Irish traditional music is recognised by scholars in the UCD School of English, Drama and Film and the School of Irish, Celtic Studies and Folklore. She is regarded as one of Ireland's most esteemed instrumentalists and her direct contribution to Irish traditional music has had an impact on generations of traditional mus musicians here in UCD. She continues to tour extensively and teaches master classes in the Tin Whistle Universities across Ireland, Europe and the United States. And finally, to conclude, I, just, I was playing this album this morning actually and um, Er, er, er cludach den ceir album eki fadog astain ta pictur alin de chaj Rick Ward pictur de chashlin clock firin sitch a er geig crin achin eva alierian steel shincha mary gahanway bin brewer fanuel le forfucht sinor dadiacht on the cover of her first solo album fadog astain there's a beautiful painting by Rick Ward of a male stone chat perched up on a sprig of gorse or a one bush as we would call it up above an Inishon. And it's an apt representation of her infinitely melodic, perfectly ornamented, vigorous plain. And it's also a delightful metaphor for the coming of spring and summer. Pray honorabilis pro preces totaque universitas. Presento vobis hanc meam filiam, quam scio tam moribus quam doctrina habileam et idoneam esse quae adamater honoris causa ad gradum doctoratus in literis idque tibi fide me attestor expondeo totique academiae. Prefate mea concessa. Admite te ad gradum doctoratus in literis, honoris and causa. more of our wonderful honorees from this afternoon. Mary Bergen is joining us at Paddy Black. <laughs> Mary Bergen is, of course, a world-leading exponent of the tin whistle, known for her adventurous and technically accomplished style. When her solo album, Fado e Gaston, was released in 1979, it totally broke the mold and reinvigorated tin whistle players everywhere myself included. Um, we're also incredibly lucky to have with us Paddy Lacken, one of our great virtuoso fiddle players with roots also in the Donegal tradition, founding member of the Bothy Band. Paddy's played with all the greats um, and is not just an outstanding fiddle player, but he's one of the leading experts in Irish traditional music on planet Earth. So it's wonderful to have them with us. They're getting themselves work right here. Our wonderful honorees, Mary Bergen, and Paddy Lacken, Trinity Gordon, accompanied by Donovan.
Anyway, we're going to start off with uh, two jigs. The first one is called Apples and Mentor, and the second one is called The Top of the Road. So.